So, what is it like? Hey guys, so I'm going through a few more of the deck profiles. So guys, I'm going through a few more of the decks that were played at the OTS event, and I've reached to one of the decks that I wish that I built ages ago, but unfortunately, kind of poor uni student at the time, so uh, instead I get to idolize this build that I didn't get to play. Um, but it was actually played by uh, one of the kids that come to our event quite often, and he's done quite well. Um, he's won some back-to-back -back local tournaments, and he's gone from... Um, what I would probably say is from a very new experience of Yu-Gi-Oh to probably one of the better players that can actually top regular locals. Like he has won events and done quite well in just the short six months that he's played competitively. I think it's about six months. John or whoever in the comments can always correct me on uh, how long it's been since he's been playing. But he's done quite well and he did very well at the OTS as well. And um, with this, I believe he made top third with um, I don't know off the top of my head, I'd have to go through and check through the results, but he did actually pretty well um, from the perspective of while I was walking around and judging that, so I thought I'd actually bring up his deck profile on here. So the list that he plays currently is the 1 Lanzia, 2 Herald of Diviner, 3 Alpha, 3 Delta, 3 Gamma, 3 Zeta, 3 Kurikara, 1 Vanity's Ruler, 1 Amorphage Pain, 1 Cyber Angel Benton, 1 Natasha, and one Draco Knights. Then for the spells, Call by the Grave, three Emergency, one Dark Ruler, no more, three Fafnir, two Fafnir, sorry, um, three Nova, one Foolish Burial, two Meteonus, one Talents, three Thrust, and one Thunder Ruler. And then for the side deck, he plays the one Lanzia, three Ash, two Droll, two Orange Light, one Gravity Dragon, one. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt that. Um, one Boral Sword, one Ling Rebo, two Cosmic, one Harpies, and one Talents. And then for the extra deck is the one Natus, one Black Rose, one Herald of Arclight, one Beatrice, one Zeus, Downard, two uh, Beta Fafnir, one Axis Code, Ap uh, one Dynamucho, Herald of Mirage Light, IP, Phoenix, and a link rebo. So the idea that he actually has for his build um, is a bit interesting. So his idea is to get access to the Thunder Ruler as well as the Amorphage Pain. So for those of you that aren't aware, Amorphage Pain has the effect of when it's summoned, it skips your opponent's next main phase, and Thunder Ruler skips their battle phase. So because of game mechanics, it goes draw phase, standby phase, skip main phase, skip battle phase, and turn. Which is kind of a bit of a disgusting way to deal with your opponent, but it works. I know of how well this worked, because he used to play this when Curious was a card, and he would Foolish Burial this with the Curious. Um, I'm not sure how specifically he gets it back to the field, because obviously Curious isn't a card, and if he sends it off with Beatrice... Um, I don't see how you would get this back. Like you'd have to make a nightmare griffin. I can't seem to see a griffin in the extra deck. So maybe I don't know. Maybe he just hard draws it. Um, as for the other stuff, it's kind of just standard ish Drytron. Um, obviously the th uh, the triple taxes thrust is one of the ways that you can get to this because good cardboard is good cardboard um it also explains why he plays uh, the dark rulers one of because similar sorts of things this just gets the ruler and it can just out a lot of things um Kurikara in the main is quite interesting because he's opted for this instead of any of the other hand traps i guess it's because like droll hits some things but not everything especially with what i've seen at, at the event that was dark world thunder and many other things and so droll doesn't really I mean, um, Ash doesn't really hit everything. Uh, similar thing with Grawl, there are some decks where it hits. Others can just play in the standby phase because there was a lot, there was a few runic different variants um, and they just some of the Hugan in draw phase and it doesn't do anything. While the Kurikara is actually pretty good because there is a lot of stuff that does activate during your turn that did appear in the event. Um, there were some goatee matches, so that can tribute it off. There was a few of the runic Naturia and different runic variants, so you just tribute off the Nat Beast and just play like it's normal so this is like very good kaiju vanity's ruler it freely wins you games and 
the weird part is, I would say, is that I've learnt that if your opponent does not see the ruler game one, sometimes they just play into it. Um, where they will side out all the stuff that deals with the ruler, just thinking, oh, well, it's right around this. It doesn't really make much of a board. I, all I need to do is just out the apple and a few things and I'm fine. And then they drop the ruler and you have no answer to it whatsoever because um, unless you draw ruler or imperm, it's actually quite difficult to deal with this as a card. Uh, Draco Noids is just a very good boss monster in general. It just kind of can OTK and make you win threes. And um, that's really it for the main from what I can see from my personal opinion. The side, the only thing that I think is interesting is the one orange light that usually this is played in the main as additional negates but i guess the theory is we just play through everything and then we just get the free win lanzia because it's searchable uh it shuts down the runic stuff as well as there was a flood player um well actually i think there's more than one flood player so that just shuts down that anyways and it does kind of sort of snipe random stuff like there was dino and that there so it does hit that um ash and droll they're amazing um the only thing that I think that might actually thought would be different is if you main her, she would side bells. So there'd be bell and roll, but personal preference. The one orange light, I don't get why he just wasn't maining this because you can just search up Benton and still have access to fairies. So fairies are still fairies. Uh, this card you burn in time. Pretty much it. Your opponent just starts paying stuff and they start dying. Um, this alternative way to Zeus, Boral Sword, because there have been times where Boral Sword does come up. There are times where your opponent just makes it big ass monster and this just can free win games um sometimes you just can't access code the answer so you just run over it lingaribo because you see your opponent summons anything or plays a deck that plays into ibli and you have out to ibli more back row removal uh this is actually better than lightning storm that i've come to find because obviously hitting fountain is amazing um as well as destruction isn't always great because there are stuff that do protect and stuff uh, harpies because you can search up this apparently and then another talents if he has to go um uh, presumably if, if you go first um i'm gonna be second actually because it just depends i guess on the matchup um extra deck pretty standard pretty standard by it the only thing that i don't particularly get is why this is played because this is usually played for the um dark magician thing to summon it during your opponent's turn so i'm not sure specifically what ritual he's summoning during his opponent's turn because this is the one that does stuff but you usually summon this during your turn to negate your opponent's main phase one so i'm not particularly sure why um this is actually played uh i'd probably have thought that this would be the place of unicorn so that we can set this so we go beatrice and this uh can beatrice set this in? Yeah, Beatrice sends this and then you griffin it back, but I guess it plays into Imperm more and you just lose more cardboard, so yeah, that is always um, an option. But besides that, it's a pretty good Tritron list. Um, maxing out on the three ofs, I guess you just want to see them in your opening hand, but I guess you could cut down on the three ofs so that you have more access into more things that you need, so that you have more consistency for drawing. But besides that, it's a pretty decent list, so good on you, kiddo, for doing quite well and... Hope to see you top the next OTS that we do.